Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris with the Federation Expansion. I'm still playing this pre-release of the game, although theoretically by the time you guys watch this video, you'll have your hands on the game as well, and hopefully you're enjoying it. We've got a bit of a Federation going on. You can see the uh, color coding uh, shifting. The, the two blue people over here are part of my Federation. These guys have formed a Federation between the two of them. But we got friends. Currently, the Federation is losing XP because we've got new members, but we're working on cohesion. We're working on getting our, our um, you know, diplomatic channels established and everything like that so we can work together as best as we can. We're also trying to beeline to this amazing planet over here, if at all possible. Fingers crossed we can get there. Gertab is properly within our system and built. We do have to check the anomaly here before we can actually take that planet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move out here with the construction ship just to grab someone else in place. Luckily, we do generate a lot of influence right now because we've got discounts for some of our diplomatic things. We've got a few rivalries going on and our factions are relatively happy. Um, in fact, we've got 100% happiness here, despite not having the multicultural society. And yeah, 72% here and all the green bits uh, flicked out. Okay, we got a little bit more research on that planet. That's nice. Oh, you're hanging out over here. Please build this for me. Thank you kindly. If we can get to Raction, I'll be really happy. There's so many minerals in this engaging system. Enemy fleet. Hopefully it's not one of those where something bad happens once we build things. And we are engaging the enemy fleet here for a very first time. Our species is fighting in space. It's unfortunate that it came to that, but yeah, this these weird this void clouds um, entity here was doing some things with their probe. So we're just going to go ahead and get some combat. Look at all the flashing lights. It's a rave up here in space. God, this does look really good. Oh my god. It's actually very, like, sort of cyberpunky, isn't it? Alright, we should have no problems powering through that. And then we've got some science ships nearby. We'll go and explore more here. This planet, we don't... Continental world. Continental is our kind of world, I believe. So, because, again, sort of biologically, sort of like, well, we've got human-looking people in a continental world, so... It's sort of maybe a bit of the vibe. Alright. Done. Anomaly defeated. We have dealt with this hostile subspace entity that our missing probe had attracted. Why such a creature would be drawn to an archaic, unmanned spacecraft is a mystery, but the probe appears to be largely undamaged. It has been recovered by our forces, and we have extracted detailed survey readings on the entire ADAR, uh, the system presumably here, from its memory banks. In addition, the residual energy left behind by the subspace anomaly has generated a large amount of valuable physics data for our scientists. There you go. And that is all the probes. We've successfully collected all of our missing sublight probes. Detailed information they held on our culture is now safe from prying alien photoreceptors. We've gotten paranoid very fast. Well, it has been 31 years. Well, actually, basically almost 32 years since we left the ring. With our combined sensor telemetry, we've been able to fully survey a number of additional neighboring systems. Excellent. Well, that is lovely. Uh, so, this fleet here, we're going to do, uh, yeah, send you back for some repairs. And... We can merge a little bit, but we're still complete. off by one here, but that's okay. Construction complete in that system. We don't have enough to get the next system yet, so we'll go ahead and build the minerals, because we don't have enough influence. Gigantic skeleton? In investigate. Yes, please. Nuranka 1A. Phone's been dated 3.4 billion years old. Long updated. That's you here. Well, we'll go ahead and research the projects while you're there. Thank you very much. You guys are digging there. We've got some more anomalies. I don't think we've got someone actually... Oh, no, we do. You. You're already investing the anomaly. Lovely. Get to work. You're repairing. You're supposed to follow that fleet, which is the idea. We're still one over our limit, but that's okay. You've been fully repaired now. Um, not really anything for you to do. To the best of my knowledge. I might move you over here, just in case there's an event that causes something to happen in this area. Mining stations built, a little bit of extra unity, that's swell. And yeah, you guys are all moving out that way. Lots of science ships over here, I don't see a construction ship, although that, I don't know if they always show up properly, uh, like the other empires, unless you're at war. Because I think it was one of the ways they reduced some of the visual noise a bit. We have lots of housing, lots of job sites, our entertainment situation is fine and dandy. Um, what is our population? Can we get a list of species? I guess we only have one world, so the easiest thing might be to check our species tab over here. So yeah, this is in our empire. We got the Lyrets, the Meshmen, and ourselves. We don't have a lot of the others, but we do have some. And yeah, they should be all happy on the ring world, and then we can build col colony ships with those species, which is going to be kind of huge. Science ship is done over here. I guess the thing to do is put on some auto-explore so you can finish that area. That's fine. Naranka is done. 
So we still have this blink here. Is it? Oh, it's the precursors that's blinking because of the excavation site. Right, okay. Mm. I'm going to move you out over in this general area because we might have some more things we need to do. I mean, there's an anomaly there. Complete. We'll take a look. Construction ship here is done. Well, we'll move you into position. And actually, at the end of the month, you will be able to queue this up. There we go. Done. It's a good thing we are making a lot of influence. Okay, a little happy family. Starbase is over here. No modules currently. Mm, it's probably worth throwing a trade hub to reach there. And then I might want to build a shipyard so that I can build and upgrade ships on the front with these. But I think what I'll do is I'll put down one gun battery um, to do a little bit of anti-piracy in range of some of the trade we're picking up. Plus give us a little bit of passive defenses in case something happens over there. And it's still not going to be enough to stop a dedicated attack, but it's going to be something. Okay, you're investigating. That's fine. Bring it up to fastest. I'm very nervous. Technology I really want to grab that planet. Discovered. Science. Ah, survey speed boost. Excellent. FTL inhibitors are something you just do want all the time. We may not need it now. The combat rolls would help a lot with combat. I think the thing to do, though, is we'll take the research speed boost. Because we don't need any of the others, like, today instantly. So we can afford to just boost our science rates a little bit. The final days of that uh, casino. Archaeologists working on the star petal have gathered sufficient clues and evidence to paint a reasonably clear picture of the station's final days. A stray asteroid impacted the station, knocking it into an orbit that would soon plunge it into Beer 7's atmosphere. Station-keeping thrusters could not compensate, and the command staff soon issued an evacuation order. Unfortunately, the station only had enough escape pods to evacuate a fraction of its passengers, and mass panic soon erupted. Those who were not trampled to death perished when the station's environmental systems failed that has drifted deeper into the gas giant. It really is Space Titanic. Okay. Anomaly detected. Anomaly, what do we have here? Vessel of some kind has crashed on the surface of this asteroid. Wreckage can still be found. Okay. Let's take a look. Thank you for opening your borders. Construction very kind of you. complete. Uh, so you've got this. We don't have enough um, influence from the next system, so you may as well build the things while you're here. We still have other construction ships coming to the front as well. I'll have to pick up this planet at some point. 60% isn't so bad. And maybe we can get just more and more migration treaties with more and more people all over the place. Da, 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 da. Minerals go. Um, you're right, you're in Rankian as well. Here, you can start on the research stations just to help speed that along a little bit. Because why not? Technology discovered. There's a hard anomaly over here for us to do. Administrative capacity boost is nice. Ah, I like this. This is a new capital building for our planets. Uh, it is does, you know give us quite a few more jobs without needing another slot, although the crime and amenities thing is kind of nice, the research speed is kind of nice as well. I think we will go planetary capital. Construction though. complete. Just because it enables quite a few other things. And yeah, is it the planet? Probably the planet with the relic. Complete. Oh my god, there's two, th there's a bunch of these anomalies. What the hell? One of our envoys just died, um, and presumably got replaced. I mean, we still have five of five envoys out all over the place. Labyrinth of Death. Oh, this is okay. So this is on coal, right? Beneath the ruins of the largest city, an amazing discovery is made. An artificial underground complex of immense proportion detected by surface penetrating sensors. The entrance, a highly elaborate design and possibly ceremonial nature, was easily located, but further exploration was quickly halted. The two large moods of Cool 2C exert exceptionally powerful tidal forces, so strong, in fact, they affect the motion of magma current in the planet's core. The underground complexes seem to be built with this in mind, with the corridors and chambers periodically flooded with running lava. Luckily enough, the ebb and flow can be predicted, but it is yet a mystery why relatively advanced civilization would construct a subterranean death trap like this. I'm sure everything's fine. Excellent. Build there. And yeah, now that I've got Rankshin, um, I'm not worried about anyone grabbing anything here. And is that the old sensor array? Yeah, this is like a huge, like, a huge get for us. Especially since we're not looking to just start random wars. Hold the heart of the pulsar. Oh, this is the star pedal again. Rummaging through the secure safes where the Star Petal's wealthiest clientele stored their personal belongings has revealed a treasure trove of strange artifacts and jewelry. Perhaps the most noteworthy among them uh, found items is the Heart of the Ocean, I mean Heart of the Pulsar, a unique diamond necklace quite famous in its day for having been worn by five different heads of state. So it's worth eight minor artifacts and 4,000 bucks. And is that really it? So we got no major artifact out of it, but I guess it's gonna have to be okay. But uh, we'll keep some anomalies over here. Lots of work to be done still in the territory that we do have. 
Another exclave Survey to be gotten. Complete. And construction ship over here. Right. So I'd move this construction ship over here in case... Um, in case I needed to just, just grab it at a very high influence cost because we got cut off. But we're not going to have to worry about it. Uh, gear tab... Okay. The T. Derg homeworld. Savannah world over here. Okay, right. That was the anomaly I had to do. Um, was the homeworld of Tigreb roughly 1.2 million years ago? A client species of the Rassian Concordate. They were winged anthropods and recovered fossils suggest they were capable of at least limited flight. What little we have seen of their surviving architecture supports this theory. Unfortunately, there are few remains of the civilization as the planet seems to have been suggested massive orbital bombardment. We don't know. Did the Arassians build our ring world? We don't know that Long yet. Updated. But I think what we can do now is actually colonize that world, so that'd be alright. Okay, I don't actually need this many um, construction ships here anymore. Um, let's move you to calf so you're ready to go, because that'll be a good one to get. Done, 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 and if we check here, we can now colonize Gear Tab. It's got no weird traits over here, just 80% habitability. Sounds fine to me, and it is with the June that we're going to be doing it. Savannah pe preference, industrious. We might do some genetic modification later on. We'll see. But yeah, we need a continental world for us. We may not know that that's what we want. Gertab. Disease control. Debris from Westminster must have been a massive orbital installation that's covered among Rankshin uh, 8A. Artifacts dis recovered amongst the debris have confirmed the space station served as headquarters of the Rassian Concordate's Authority of Disease Control some 1.2 million years ago. The Rassians were far more susceptible to alien diseases than most known species, and the budget of their public health institute nearly rivaled that of their military. Despite this, surviving records show that their entire species perished from the Javorian pox. Special Project Long Orbiting updated. Station. Okie dokie. Let's do it. What kind of diseases are we going to find? We are full up on minerals. Let's sell them. And actually, we'll sell the food as well. We could buy more alloys if we needed to, but I don't think we really need to. I think we can just sit on the money for now and be okay with it. If we could buy influence, I'd be pretty happy. But that only works in real life. Oh, it is our little teapot in orbit around the sun. We're going to say uh, all questions don't have worthwhile answers. If you're a spiritualist, there's there's always a chance that you'll get a positive outcome. Usually it's just a big waste of time. There's always a chance. If you're a spiritualist, it's a much higher chance and it's worth doing. But otherwise, eh. We'll take the influence so that we can actually just claim systems a little faster. Oh, yeah, you're already performing that, which is fine. Here, actually, you wait there. Construction complete. Um, you go there. You build all the stations, and you... Oh, I didn't realize I didn't have enough if I did that. Halt. You build that. You just help build mining stations or something. Client ship over here in Rankton. Oh, there's still... Oh, someone's already doing that one. There's an anomaly over here, so perhaps I will send you to research the anomaly. Cheers and thank you. Guys, I'm so excited. We're finally going to land a ship and make a new colony. Not of our own species, unfortunately, but within our collective government here. We may have to change our government name. What do we got? Secure shipping. Base trade production for trade routes is increased. That's nice. Uh, market fee reduced 10%. That's pretty handy. And we want to finish diplomacy, yeah? Yeah, I mean, we have to. Okay. At some point, there will be a galactic Anomaly sun in form. Detected. New levels, an anomaly, asteroid, impact, Special okay, that's fine. Project complete. More artifacts, archaeological project done. Construction complete. You can build that station, and you did finish this. Um, there's already a ship over here. I guess uh, one way we can check is anomalies. There we go. Uh, change scientists. This one here is an idle one, right? If we do that, yeah, that is you. Okay. Your face could probably use something a little bit more convenient. But that'll work. It's better than me trying to squint at the screen over here. Just go to the list of anomalies and get things done. Yeah, this is going to be an okay area. Lucky fine. Asteroid collision. Oh! Smaller asteroid consisting of almost entirely precious metals. Nice! Alright, free minerals. 
around the that star or that asteroid when we do Survey finally get to complete. the system. Construction done, done, done. and yeah, we are going to be able to do the separate system relatively soon. Although I think this anomaly is blocking the actual planet, but still. All right, uh, fleet order canceled. That's fine. Association status and things okay. What's my timer at? Where are we? Um, I still have envoys just occupied. Okay, hold on. I gotta figure out. So now you're locked in. Oh, maybe you don't recall envoy. I've been thinking about that. I just, they don't cost you anything where they're somewhere. So there's no reason to recall them. All you can do is just start another one. Yeah. And you just, like, decide, okay, I need to make friends with someone, and I just move it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys are relatively friendly. But the thing is, if I could pull back an envoy, it'd be easier for me to pull back someone somewhere that's max. Now there must be a thing. I'll try to Google it after uh, after this. Uh, remember though, I am playing this still pre-release, so other people may not have posted this question because they may not have uh, run into it yet because they don't have the game yet. Not the time I'm recording it. Grab that. There's even an archaeological site over there. I'm worried that something terrible is going to happen in that system. But no, I'm sure everything's going to be okay. Construction complete. All right, yeah, that was our trade treaty that we set up at some point, which is fine. Ooh, living Metal Lakes. Living Metal Tech. Living Metal Discovered on Girtab. Very nice. Rassian Mining Base in Nikanda. All right. Log updated. An alien empire is making contact. Subterranean Empire. That's what you're just called. Subterranean Empire Mega Corporation. Delighted to meet you. Oh, right, the other construction ship is doing stuff there. Okay. Then move over here and be ready to claim that, please. Construction ship in surface. You can go and build a bunch of mining stations. You're nearly done in Gertub. Way over here. Let me just... Oh, yeah, you do have some auto-explore to do. Initiating communications. And another? Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and enable that. There we go, swarming hive craft. That's expected. Way over here. Now, how bad is that? It's pretty bad. That's what I thought. I think this is the living rock, but we've already got these systems, which is good. Um, to colonize surface, we may need to build a uh, star base there, because otherwise getting a ship over there might be bad. Yes, please, with the migration treaty. Thank you very much. Mining station lost. Graveyard expedition. updated. Yeah, so we're a long way before we can make a fleet that can take that, unfortunately. So what I will do is I will plan right away. I'm gonna upgrade the spaceport. That way we can build um, colony ships from out discovered. of here. Doesn't totally make sense, but let's pretend it does. Mining station there's our armor, oh, there's our destroyers. Okay, let's unlock that right away. I mean, this is still, Special project. we're not gonna be Complete. fighting a thousand at a time. We're gonna be fighting a lot at the same time here. So we sort of have to think about the ability to fight a 6,000 strong fleet, which is a little rough, not gonna lie. Go. Research project from there. You've done that. You've done that. Um, yeah, you can't really get there. That's done. So I'll just tell you return home. So you'll FTL instead. Lovely. Construction ships, right, because they were over here. They've gone, which is fine. Um, oh, I guess you can't do that. Yeah, no. No orders for you. Uh... Yeah, oh, this is, no, this is in surface as well, so it's just going to be this one ship doing all of it. Um, what I might want to do, yeah, I'm actually, I'll get rid of the ship completely, because we don't need that. Um, I guess I'm going to let you finish. I'm not sure if we just change this, if it would reset it, which would be quite poor. I guess you can stay here to do some space exploration stuff. You're doing that, and you've got nothing here either. Borders are closing. Yeah, if we could maintain open borders with more people, it would be really nice. I suppose what I could do with my envoys is 
just grab people who are like lower down but not so impossible to make friends with slaving despots maybe hold off on you but like and then anyone who's not locked in so we don't need yeah the mesh bin we don't need you we know that for sure now you're locked in for x number of days which is okay um these guys here so i can't move you but i can grab one of these others and there might be some i'd rather grab but really i'm gonna assume it's okay um right this is with the uh, faction or the uh, federation so we want to leave that one there how's our federation doing there we go gaining 100 x or 10 xp per month starting to level up and more dig Special sites. The floor is lava. An expedition was sent down to the volcanic tunnel network. Navigating the magma scoured basalt maze will be a delicate business as the frequent ebb and flow in lava periodically marines the expedition deep within. When or if the end of the labyrinth is reached, there's also the long road back that needs to be traversed. Once inside, there's no way of communicating with the expedition. We can only wait. Oof, that is creepy. Special project complete. Science team under science officer Hepfenir finished their expedition to Kanda, returned to the Utak, uh, uh, Utak the Unexpected. Thankfully, the ship graveyard on the surface proved to be a technological treasure trove. Studying the remains of these vessels has advanced our research in certain fields by several years, and there are yet things to discover. Permanent science outpost in orbit would be a great boon to our starship engineering efforts. Yet yeah, we'd be plus three engineering tech, and we've got some right away as well. Construction ships are ready to go. I'm going to send one down here to grab you and you construction ship here you've got some science to grab there uh and there and i guess maybe over here too a little awkward but it's gonna have to do and yeah i guess you guys are just gonna kind of sit around for now the big thing is waiting on this guy there we go that's done let me halt replace you with a level four so you go a little faster um finish researching the anomalies listing post hollowed out portion of the asteroids Long interior ah. construction complete okay i have a star base here so now i should be able to colonize this successfully um i can't remember i think we did the june for the first one Oh, yeah, it's a Relic World. Hold on. I can do it with anyone, including myself. Oh, it's only 70% um, because of our traits, but because we're non-adaptive. You know what? I'm still going to settle the world with them. Other species will move over there. I feel like this does need a name if we're, if we're colonizing ourselves. It's like our, a return to, like, it's a return to a planet. It's a return to the land. As opposed to this artificial ring. Is it just the new nest? The new section? Hmm. Landfall. That's just what I'm going to call it. There you are. It's, I mean, migration treaties aside, we don't know where our species might have ended up. But, um, in theory, this is the first time our species has set foot on a planet themselves, like, as a species, to colonize for untold thousands and thousands of years. We just don't know. Ocean world over there. We'll definitely want to grab at some point. Construction complete. Borders closed. You're done everything over there. Now you're kind of stuck. Ooh, there we go. You know, Felix. Uh, yeah, we're fine with that as a faction. Oh, is that someone else's? Sorry, I thought it was talking about ourselves. All right. Dun 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 dun. dun Special dun. project complete. More artifacts. Fossilized remains. Over a hundred Erasian miners bottom one of those boreholes. Oh, the disease spreading. Yeah, they're trying to hide. Comrades dumped their bodies down one of the boreholes before the moon was evacuated. Damn. Oh, being insulted by the horde. Very rude. Establishing colony. There's our first colony. Our colony ship has gently touched down on the sprawling savannah that covers most of Agiratab Pride. The shimmering air... Oh yeah, that's this one over here, so it's not really with our species. Shimmering air is dry yet pleasant. A large herd of docile herbivores can be seen observing from a distance as our first landing site is established. The ship has been permanently converted to administrative headquarters and new settlement. Its reactor core is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up around the former starship's massive hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers. The first species 1-8 city on an alien world. In fact, I am 
am going to change the name of this. What this is going to be, this is going to be like, like our communal, like multi-species, um, like cohabitation plan. It's a little too long. I was thinking, do I actually just want to name it that? Um, so, no. I don't know. Just, it's just the commune. Done. That's actually what this plan is going to be called. Landfill, the commune, section 18. A little bit more meaningful names. I like that. Yeah, still not really anything to do with a lot of these right now. Technology discovered. Traditions and relics. No, I don't know. I don't think we want to run any of these right now. Colony development speed uh, would actually be kind of relevant right now. Let me grab that. It might be done in time to actually help with maybe one of the colonies. And I mean, I guess there's a planet here too that we're going to grab. That construction ship is still trapped. I suppose I could just... I may as well leave it here in case it turns out I need a construction ship there. I don't know. It's sort of just costing us right now. Oh! Did you not actually spawn from there? Oh, shit. Maybe because it didn't have a shipyard. Uh, whoopsie. I wonder how aggressive these things are. If I just skirted around, would they attack? Yeah, they probably would. I think I have to disband the ship. Shipyard. Let's try that again. Initiating communications. Yeah, we'll maybe be able to bring you in. Archaeological site done. Serenity and Isolation. The Lava Labyrinth expeditions finally returned, having reached the innermost chamber. Purpose of the Nathan Complex was finally revealed. The labyrinth served as, oops, a proving ground. A uh, proving ground not for the body as much as the mind. There's a phrase in the native language scrawled repeatedly in the inner sanctum. Translated, it reads, question mark, the 4,444,444th turn of the tides will be the last. Nothing will withstand its rebirth. Whatever that means. It seems that a few of those who survived the deadly pilgrimage chose to return to the surface after reading it instead of giving themselves to the rivers of fire. Force mindfulness modifier added, giving 5% monthly unity. Well, that's nice. Galactic community. Yes, this is a worthy endeavor. Absolutely. Galactic senates. Da -da 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 -da. Science ships over here. Construction ship over there, which is fine. Shipyard here, which is fine-ish, maybe. Construction Done. complete. Colony ship of species one. Why is this lit up? Founding species. What? Um, apparently, I don't think it likes to use this UI. Uh, landfall. There we go. And it is being built here. Okay. For some reason, I thought that colony ships could just be built. Like, I thought civilian ships might be buildable at any star base, even if they didn't have a shipyard. I don't know why I was thinking that just now. Complete. It's never been the case. Well, that's not true. It used to be buildable from planets, but this is obviously not what we're doing here. But maybe that's when I sort of made that connection. I don't know. But we're going to try to land on surface. The relic world... City once stretched across the entire world. Only ancient and abandoned ruins remain now. The original inhabitants long since departed. Which totally feels like like where we were before. We've got oh an L gate specifically here. We can't do anything about it. Oh, we did just meet the Oh no, it's the Zorg Swarm! Oh no! <laughs> oh, I made these guys! Yeah, it's the Dwaring Storm. That's what they are. Um Luckily, they're fairly far away from me. Still these fanatic purifiers over here, which is inevitably going to be a problem. Fleet power is overwhelming currently. We do not have much in the way of fleet tech. Might want to build a bunch of defensive platforms, although we don't have a bunch of alloys stored up either. Construction ship done over here. Let's go and grab this. Construction ship there. Uh-huh, that's fine. And then Zoad, you're just cleaning some of these up. I mean... 
Actually, maybe what I want to do, rather than do that, go and grab this system. So we can put down another settlement. We're actually going to have quite a few colonies. Birth of the Galactic Community! In this historic day, several of the galaxy's prominent spacefaring empires, including Species 18 Exploratory Council, have announced the creation of the Galactic Community. This supranational organization will serve as a forum where matters involving the entire galaxy can be discussed and decided upon. As one of its founding members, we can take pride in the milestone of a galactic history. Indeed. And there we are over here. Um, we can assign an envoy to try to continue to push the influence. See, I think the newest are up the top, so presumably I can just grab from the bottom and do this. So we're going to keep one envoy in the Federation, one envoy in the Galactic Senate. I mean, we could send more, because what it does is it gives us more influence as a percentage. So someone right away wanted to encourage Pan-Galactic Recycling Initiative, um, which will mean we will use up less consumer goods overall. Take longer to clear blockers. Um, but the reduced consumer good output upkeep is kind of nice. Um, but the amount of weight we get from... So our diplomatic strength here, this is how many votes we've got basically, is based on a few different things. Bypassing this, it would reduce the diplomatic weight that anyone gets from economic strength, which means number of pops, fleet power, and technology becomes more important. I don't know where we want it to be in terms of balancing the diplomatic weight, but let me tell you, you know, recycling seems like a really good idea. We're going to go ahead and support the recycling initiative. Um, I mean, we could go and, and try to put up forth our own resolutions as well, which might happen. But I think we'll just mostly let some other people maybe put things up for now. We'll decide what we want to do with this a little bit later. We are 31 minutes in. Nice place to cut, though, with the galactic community being formed for the first time. That's very exciting. We got some new planets being made. You're going to go there. Just make sure nothing has changed with, like, borders or whatever. We can go and ask a little bit of automated exploration for the people who are just sitting around. Done, done, done. Um, so the other anomaly left is, yeah, signs of precursor in surface, and we are working on that. And we currently have no more excavation sites, I think, within our borders. So yeah, we will definitely go and pull back on some of our, uh, our ships. We'll, we'll assist research in a few other areas, but yeah. So the commune is still being worked on over here. It's coming together. And we will have some more planets. It's very exciting. Folks, thanks for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye!